Hello everyone. This is Hound Dog with you and another vintage FSX model of a U.S. Navy carrier aircraft from the past 100 years of carrier aviation. Today is 21 July 1946 and we are on the USS Yorktown CV-10 flying the McDonnell FDFH Phantom, the U.S. Navy's first pure jet powered aircraft to land on an American aircraft carrier. In 1942, the Army Air Corps and the U.S. Naval Bureau of Aeronautics were aggressively managing the huge number of design and manufacturing contracts required to meet the demand for new wartime aircraft. All of the established aircraft manufacturers were severely overcommitted and unable to meet the demanding production schedules. McDonnell Aircraft Corporation was a new company that began manufacturing aircraft parts in 1939, but in 1940 responded to a U.S. Army request for proposal for a new bold and radical design for a twin-engine, high-altitude, long-range, high-speed fighter interceptor. The resulting prototype aircraft was the innovative XP-67 Bat, or Moon Bat as it was nicknamed because of the unusual blended wing body. The Army ultimately canceled the Bat program, but the Navy, looking to expand its available manufacturing resources, was impressed with the innovative aircraft and invited McDonnell to design a carrier-based jet interceptor. In early 1943, the Navy awarded McDonnell a contract for two prototypes, XFD-1 Phantom Fighters. The D designator was originally assigned to the Douglas Aircraft Company, but due to a lack of recent designs from Douglas, the Navy decided to assign the D manufacturer's code to McDonnell. McDonnell engineers evaluated a number of engine combinations, from two 19-inch diameter engines to eight 9.5 inch diameter engines. The final design used two 19-inch, 1,360-pound thrust Westinghouse 19XB engines buried in the wing route to keep intake and exhaust ducts short while offering greater aerodynamic efficiency than underwing nacelles. The engines were also angled slightly outwards to protect the fuselage from the hot exhaust blast. Placement of the engines in the middle of the airframe allowed the cockpit with the bubble-style canopy to be placed ahead of the wing, granting the pilot excellent visibility in all directions. The engine location also freed up space under the nose, allowing designers to use tricycle landing gear, which elevated the hot engine exhaust and prevented damage to the aircraft carrier deck. The aircraft had straight folding wings and an aluminum monocube fuselage with flush riveted aluminum stress skin. To meet the slower landing and takeoff speeds required on a small carrier deck, the Phantom used split flaps. Provisions were also made for rocket assisted takeoff bottles to improve takeoff performance. The Phantom was armed with four 50 caliber machine guns in the upper nose and under wing racks for eight 5 inch rockets. The growing demand for new jet engines was exceeding production, and when the first XFD was completed in January 1945, only one Westinghouse 19XB engine was available for installation. To minimize delays, high-speed taxi tests were conducted with only one engine installed and ballast in the other engine bay. On 26 January 1946, the company's chief test pilot, Woodward Burke, felt confident enough to allow the aircraft to lift a short distance above the runway in the Phantom's first recorded flight. The first real flight followed a few days later after the second engine had been installed. During flight tests, the Phantom became the first naval aircraft to exceed 500 miles per hour. With successful completion of tests, a production contract was awarded on 7 March 1945 for 100 FD Phantom aircraft. The first prototype was lost in a fatal crash on 1 November 1945, but the second and final Phantom prototype was completed early the next year. On 21 July 1946, the Phantom became the first purely jet-powered aircraft to operate from an American aircraft carrier, completing four successful takeoffs and landings on the USS Franklin D. Roosevelt CV-42. The second prototype crashed on 26 August 1946. 
Final Production Phantoms incorporated a number of design improvements that included a flush fitting centerline drop tank, an improved gun sight, the addition of speed brakes, and new 1,600 pound thrust Westinghouse J30 engines. The top of the vertical tail had a more square shape than the rounder tail used on the prototypes, and a smaller rudder was used to resolve problems with control surface clearance. The horizontal tail surfaces were shortened slightly, while the fuselage was stretched by 19 inches. The amount of framing in the windshield was also reduced to enhance pilot visibility. The Phantom's limited range and inability to carry bombs made it best suited for duty as a point defense interceptor aircraft. The Phantom never entered combat since its speed and rate of climb were only slightly better than the existing propeller-powered fighters and fell short of other contemporary jets such as the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star. The aircraft's design deficiencies included poor navigational avionics and it could not accommodate newly developed ejection seats. Pilots were also blinded at night by the muzzle flash from the nose-mounted machine guns. The production of more powerful jet engines prompted McDonnell to propose the F-2H Banshee while the Phantom was still under development. Although the Banshee was originally envisioned as a modified Phantom, the need for heavier armament, greater internal fuel capacity, and other improvements eventually led to a substantially heavier and bulkier aircraft. Despite this, the two aircraft were similar enough that McDonnell was able to complete the first F-2H in August 1948, a mere three months after the last of the 62 F-H Phantoms rolled off the assembly line. The F-2H Banshee and Grumman F-9F Panther, both of which began flight tests around the time of the Phantom's entry into service, better satisfied the Navy's need for a versatile, long-range, high-performance jet. Consequently, the FH-1 was primarily used for carrier qualifications and to transition pilots from propeller-powered fighters to jets in preparation for flying the Panther or Banshee. In late 1949, the FH Phantoms were transferred to the reserves for training duty until replaced by the F-9F 